Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going to be starting on a brand new tutorial series on the channel. And in this particular tutorial, we are going to be uh, looking at Visual Studio and uh, how you can download it and just generally talking about Visual Studio because this series is going to be on C Sharp. So what is Visual Studio? Well, Visual Studio is an IDE or integrated development environment made by Microsoft that you can use to write your C Sharp code with. Um, it's not just used for C-sharp though, it's used also for things like F-sharp, uh, Visual Basic, you can do JavaScript with it, you can do all kinds of stuff with it, but this series is going to focus specifically on C-sharp. So, if you go to uh, visualstudio.com slash download in your browser, you'll be brought to this page. This On this page is where you can download Visual Studio. Um, I will be using Visual Studio Community 2022 for this series. Um, so on this page, you can find that uh, at least at the time of recording, if it's uh, Visual Studio 2024 or something of that nature, um, then uh, that's fine. As long as you have a, as long as you have a version of Visual Studio, you can still write C sharp. However. Um, Visual Studio isn't just the only editor that you can use to write um, C Sharp code with. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Visual Studio Code is is a is a different ID is a different editor. There we go, right there. Um, so Visual Studio Code. Now, this is another editor from Microsoft, and this doesn't provide as many of the same bells and whistles as, uh, as a Visual Studio would, but if you're on Linux, uh, then you're going to need Visual Studio Code or some other editor. Uh, I recommend Visual Studio Code because Visual Studio is not... Um, available on Linux. It's only available on Windows and Mac. And to go along with that, um, to go along with um, Visual Studio Code on your Linux machine, you'll need the .NET SDK, and and we'll talk about that in a uh, in the in uh, in the next video where we will talk about .NET, but. Um, the nice thing about the full Visual Studio IDE on Mac or Windows is that it comes with all that stuff built into it, so you don't have to download anything extra. Um, the, the other nice benefit about the full IDE is that it allows you to run, build, debug, package, publish, all that, uh, all that kind of stuff all in one place, all in, the, all in the same editor, rather than having to, again, download anything extra uh, to do that. Granted, on Linux, you can still do that stuff. You can still build, run, uh, debug, and test your code. It's just, it's going to be done a little bit differently, and we're not gonna cover that in this series because I don't use a Linux machine. Um, there are other places that you can learn how to do that stuff specifically. Excuse me. But yeah, um, so either Visual Studio for Windows or Mac and Visual Studio Code. Those are the three different options that you have for um, writing C Sharp. Granted, of course, you can use other editors like... Um, like Notepad or Notepad++ or something, but Visual Studio Code, if you're not going to use normal Visual Studio, has probably the best um, syntax highlighting and some autocomplete. So that pretty much does it for Visual Studio. There's not 
a whole lot to talk about when it comes to like introducing Visual Studio. We'll talk more about various features of Visual Studio as we go along. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, if you have any questions for me, leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like or dislike on this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single video. Thank you all so very much for watching and we will see you in the next one.